Um, I might be a little shaky. What I want to do is uh, be able to take uh, photos uh, with my other camera to get high res resolution photos. We're at the corner of uh, Ward and Baratania, what's commonly known as the Occupy, uh, the Occupy Honolulu, where a raid is taking place. You can see they have uh, crime tape put up. And uh, I'm across the street right now. Recovery of items has been very uh, sparse. Uh, people need to produce um, need to produce. Uh, I'm going to take this off my belt. I'm sorry uh, if it's shaky. Okay, I'm back up to uh, the top level now. We are at uh, Thomas Square where there is a seizure of property going on. So, um, they have the whole area taped off as crime tape, crime scene taped off as you can see here. <coughs> so I was walking uh, behind that area. I've got a another camera here. 
No, well, she's addressing them so that they are educated. Enforce the laws, enforce the laws that protect the poor, enforce the laws that protect the peaceful. You want to you have to go the you won't answer the enforcement issue. Come on. officer here is in the Aloha shirt. We sometimes call them Aloha police because uh, they're here to disguise their presence so the public doesn't see a bunch Will of uh, armed people. By HPD. First Amendment table. Somebody's got to get over to the First Amendment table. At almost every perimeter of this activity is, I, I believe, a direct example of doing just that. They're taking untagged material. You see this uh, dump truck. Um, the material has been tagged for storage. This is not a storage vehicle. You saw the storage bins in the truck uh, previously. This is a dump truck. This gets trashed, and that's been the new, their new um, tactic, which is to uh, not store anything, just declare it trash and, they and throw it away. They threw away artwork because they are not qualified to determine what artwork is. They uh, seized and threw away art uh, from our off art, off after art, uh, off art after dark uh, show on the 25th. they have done is they've tagged, keeping track of the numbers, 0399. So the first n bunch were in uh, numerical order and these three, uh, 0398. This is red tent day. Of course, now these red tents will be uh, swapped out for blue tents to avoid evade seizure. Uh, you can see how uh, the traffic is blocked off here. We're gonna we're gonna get back to the um, to the uh, First Amendment table in a little while. I want to show how. Uh, 
the area is being uh, blocked up. This is from Deoccupy Honolulu, which is in solidarity with Occupy Wall Street and is currently the longest running um, Occupy encampment uh, in the Occupy movement worldwide. I'm gonna. That that truck is going to the trash. You can see um, artwork sticking out of that thing. That was the Sam Manikin Nation uh, Sam Manikin Nation uh, bus stop that was seized. We'll go look uh, at this other truck, which contains stuff that is uh, seized. The, the free speech zone is still here, and the sign is still here. He refused to help her besides stealing her stuff. That's what you guys do for your job. Don't think that, that they're trying to clean up the streets. They want her stuff. They aren't offering help. Your tax dollars that you pay with your paychecks paid for this activity for you to harm people. Right. Speaks the truth there. No riddle there. The riddle actually is why, uh... Yeah. Yeah. I think I did good, though. I kept my phone for the most part. <laughs> for, for you, yeah. yeah that was pretty good. That was pretty good. Talking to Nova Smith, live streamer, uh, the pineapple that glitch. He doesn't care. He just wants to laugh at people, point at him. He's talking about how he's hurting them. Why do you feel like he's going to have to point at him? Stop! 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 That's disrespectful, man. People are in need of help. Real help. You can't say you can't do that. You just let them steal her stuff. You can see the uh, splintered paddle uh, emblem on uh, this officer's shoulder. There's a splintered paddle. Which guarantees protection of people. In this case, not enforced. Repeatedly violated by HPD um, through threat of uh, violence. You can see weapons and whatnot. Well, we can prove it. Yeah. We'll just take photos of it. Yeah. You're taking it, and yeah. you take a photo so that way you can claim it. But he's gonna have to bring ID and yeah, get the registration if he has it. Well, the ID is his so face. It's it's his face so matches the bike. Any identification. All he's gonna get the citation, but he doesn't want to do it. So take the photos and try to explain it. So they know what they're doing. Is this why you join Okay, he's... I'm, my question is, how is this different from theft? Why are you guys not 
considering the stealing. Can you explain to you, sir? Or do you, yeah. want to, you want to even listen to what I'm going to say? Sure, 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 I will, I will. So let me explain. Untaxed bicycle. Yeah. It's not really, it's not, yeah. But it's an old bicycle. Yeah. They need to be registered here. Uh, right. Room. So you got to go to the city, bring the serial number, date of purchase, or something like that, and then register it. So it's not registered, it's considered an untaxed bicycle. Yeah. They cannot provide who it belongs to them. Yeah. So we can just cite them. It's a fifty cent dollar fine to get the citation, but he doesn't want to prove any identification. Right. So we don't know what it is. So what he has to do is have to go back to. W- wouldn't the his room. possession of it show uh, ownership but of it? His he has no identification. testimony. Do you guys Does that have any identification? We won't provide any identification. We can't issue a citation. To somebody who don't have any identification. Oh, okay. Okay. He refuses to give us any information. We can't do anything about that. So we'll take it and then he can claim it at the main station. It's just a block away. Okay. Um, do, you, can I, do, you, do you believe that you're utilizing your right now? I'm not doing anything wrong. Nobody here is doing anything wrong. The only people here who are doing anything wrong are the ones in uniform. You guys, absolutely correct. That's it. Do you feel that we're doing anything wrong? I have been repeatedly. We've been I have repeatedly, and it's being blown off, and nothing's being done about it. You can report them to the police. Oh, I mean, you know, yeah, what it's, you're it's, saying? A, it's a fucking top-down criminal organization, man. I have no love lost for the police. I don't, because this is the kind of shit that, that's allowed to take place. You want people's respect. You want us to, to chill, chill out about stuff. And you can't allow this to happen. The items that were, ta- that were tagged were taken. Items of value were thrown in the back of a dump truck. Right, not for storage, yes, for disposal. That's trash. That's theft. You're stealing. It's theft, man. We, we would get arrested for it. They allow it to take place. This is stealing stuff. This is stealing private property. This is private property? I'm sorry, what did you say? The, the, the property that we had, our property, you're, you're stealing it, you know? Even Bill 54 like says that we the, have a right to collect like it. We're the public. No, I really don't. He's if you think that this is fun for me or that I enjoy doing this, you're sorely yeah, mistaken. You don't have to yell, I'm right here. I'm just telling you. No I'll talk to you. Just All right, talk fine. Look, right. right. you know point blank. What, what is your point? You know, what is that? No, point blank. Public property, but you skipped over the bill. Fifty four no crap. We can fight that out in court because it's, it's garbage. Right. Twenty four hours. No, this item's are stored. But right now, today, that law is in effect. Stored. That doesn't say. What DSM is doing right now is outside of the law. There was outside the law. That was thrown in. There was property of value. That's theft. Police That's theft. And demand that they, that the city reimburse for that debt. Mm-hmm. Well, it's 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 but DFM, like you just mentioned, right? They're not law enforcement officers. They're not police officers. They're right? not. So they going to the police commission. Or something DSM is doing. That's, no, the, no, catch. That's the catch. That's the catch, bro. Well, the saying, foreign officers of the law are allowing other city employees okay. to willingly well, bring that's the right. police commission as well as you're going to have to take it up with DSM. I'm just telling you, no, so you're, I, gonna go, I, you're not going to go over there. They shouldn't, DFM and shouldn't even be, so, exist. Our tax dollars are going to be DFM, then if you want to talk to the police commission, you talk to the police This is my beef with HPD. Right. Right. I didn't put you guys to enforce the law. Even a law that I don't necessarily agree with. Right? Because that's a different fight. That's not one here, that's one in a courtroom. Okay? You are here assisting DFM. What is possession? I don't know who you are. And violating ordinances in the law. And to break and to break stuff. My name's Terry Anderson. That's my name. That's what they're doing. Because there's there's no accountability. Nobody's checking any of their paperwork. And some of the stuff is obvious. Artwork? Oh, come on. Yeah, that's How can you obvious. say that that has no value and let them throw it in the back of a dumpster? The damage is already done. Yeah, the property of value. That This is the third occasion now that they just brought in a dump truck and threw it in. So it's somebody's property. No, you can't. Bill 54 says you got to tag it. And store, and that the owner right. has 30 days to collect it. Right. Of value. How Absolutely. How can you treat artwork and a desk 
has no value. Yeah. How can you say a chair has no value? And who makes the determination? It's theft. It's clearly theft. No, I can't. I'm glad they broke my stuff. Yeah. I'm glad to see this plant. The people will. The people will want to see this plant. So I'm showing it. This, is, this was tagged, but as you can see, being carried in, it has not been seized. It's grown some too. It's grown. It's growing very, very well. What kind of plant is that? What is that? Hawaiian chili pepper. All oh, right. It's a native plant. That's what we're asking. Unlike most of these people, I'm guessing. Surely you're not Hawaiian. Surely you're not Hawaiian acting like this. Surely, surely not. That's why people do that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's doing it. I don't know. 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 I don't know.
Legal does not Why mean not right. That's a, that's a really good point. That is a really good point. That's a classic shot. There's a cart going into the carts going into the back hole. Classic shot. Good one. Stealing from the poor. Personal possessions, clothes, implements needed for the act of living going into the dumpster, not being stored uh, as uh, Bill 54, Ordinance 11 029 requires. Here's uh, the ones calling the shots are models for uh, Asian settler colonialism. They, they need to read that book. Uh, Candace Fujikane uh, edited a book called uh, Asian Settler uh, Colonialism, and uh, we got some we got some poster children for that here. <laughs> I tell you, I shouldn't laugh, but like you know. It's, Though they're following a script. I know it's they do that. They do that. They uh, threaten to take uh, phones as evidence, which is why we try and live stream. Because uh, they swipe this phone and. It's the same system that is making you guys commit crimes against. Not only you the can, natives of this land, you can see that the the, that the top of that dumpster is full of stuff. Anyway, it, that that dumpster is completely full. I'm going to try and get a view here. Can you get a better shot from down there? Looks like I'm a landfill. Oops. All right. Oh. Okay. Got it. What do you guys believe you are doing by taking people's stuff away? By tossing it aside because it looks 
looks like trash. Don't you see? You guys want to keep this part clean? Because it's the only piece of green left in, 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 in the entire city of Honolulu. Look around you. This place is a concrete jungle. You want to protect this green? Because it's the only thing you got left in this part. Hey, go have lunch. I'm not against you guys, brothers and sisters. I'm only against oh, the day. title and the authority that you have sworn to uphold. You're just joining us. We are at uh, Thomas Square, where Department of uh, Facilities Maintenance and HPD has uh, conducted a raid on the Occupy Honolulu. No, you can and see at the top of this truck. The fucking sellout. Bicycles, uh, chairs. Instead of utilizing it, that sort of thing. You know, I'm uh, Your associated with Deoccupy Honolulu, but this corner where they attack the houseless and take away. Their food and clothes and shelter is the uh, is the hardest to, to witness. Now hold on in that truck. Imagine that's all what you had. And everything you just had was taken away. You see uh bicycle away because the big guy said, Hey, that looks ugly. System's ugly. System sure is ugly. And this ain't the system we made. <laughs> That's Kue. Kue. Now that is the coordinator of the Office of Housing. What's her qualification to help homeless people? She's the deputy prosecutor under the mayor who is the chief prosecutor. I got a good shot. I'm taking photos here with my other camera, so. She promised help uh, yesterday. Um, Trish came and stole uh, all the woman belonging. Elderly woman took all her stuff. Does the city and county of Honolulu and are leaving? And the state believe that she is just that something is just wrong with her. But once again, how you can effectively, correctly criticize or judge a society is when you look at the people at the bottom. She's a product of this system that you're working and, for. And they took all their stuff away. We Can you imagine that? that? I we tell you, you're not going to believe it. If you, if you were here, whoever's watching, yeah, look how they tore up the park. And the, and that your if you're here, today, you wouldn't believe it. All she had they took her. all all she has, all this woman has. Uh, and there's no one helping her. The Office of Housing came, Trish Morikawa came yesterday, promised help.
So now she has no clothes, no belongings, no tent, no shelter. If she is out on the street, this woman's out on the street. Uh, Just as you see her, even without any uh, shoes, and they're going to go away. And that's it. That's it for her. And there they go. Into the Hawaii State Constitution in 1978. There goes the dump truck. Truly believe now, when they leave here, they go to other homeless encampments. They, they do raids uh, continually. So they go from place to place. Uh, this is uh, probably one of the more established ones because it's never gone away in 208 days. Those red tents you'll see will be coming down too. Free, free speech Officer doesn't... Officer can you quote the ordinance for me, please? No power, microphones, or anything within the park grounds unless you have a permit. The same one is not park rules. You can't have one. So, in 10 dash, did you get that? 10 dash I did 10 dash what? 10 dash 1.2. 10 dash 1.2. It's a city ordinance that you can't use. Ordinance. Loud, loud speakers and like that. She's a fucking guy. They should put it on the sign. It's not on the sign. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try and I'm gonna put this down a sec so I can get off. This, uh, Now they took all this elderly woman's uh, belongings, clothing, tent, whatnot. Um, she could use some help from a housing service, which was promised a couple of nights ago. Uh, they took her stuff and are, are now leaving. Cop is walking away. I forget his name, but that, this is kind of his corner. He was here uh, to arrest the original group, um, which was uh, November 5th, 208 days ago. And there they go. That crane truck is the one with um, the bins in it. Uh, where they're supposed to store property, of course, very, very little of that stored property has been recovered in it. Most of it's been thrown out in 30 days. We live in a multi-billion dollar industry. Well, this was all done by the business association anyway. Yeah. There's something that benefits uh, and, and, Right. But, I mean, there's a problem when when a state is multi-billion dollar, um, creates a multi-billion dollar revenue. Kind of this kind of Nazi normative image of what society should be. Yeah. And what, what, what um, they want to see it as, which doesn't include all of us. No, it, it includes an upper echelon, but it, not a lower echelon. Absolutely.
the upper echelon gets a nasty, filthy shelter to go in in Honolulu. That's what they get to have. Yeah. And that's out of sight and out of mind, so Mr. and Mrs. Honolulu don't get to see that. That's right. Exactly. Uh, we're going to come look at, uh, get evidence of, uh, hey, uh, take a of the tree that's we're going to, we're going to yeah, look at this, uh, this is, um, uh, actually taking, it dug up the, uh, earth here pretty good. Somebody, you know, somebody twist their ankle in here. Make sure to go file a statement at the police station. This is torn up. You know, look at the facilities maintenance. That's the people that were here tearing up the facilities. Facilities maintenance. Uh, but they don't really see their job as maintaining the facilities. Uh, they see their job as stealing from the poor, conducting armed raids in the poor and the peaceful. I'm kind of upset, you know. I'm upset about this. We're walking over to the other side of the park now because we want to document that uh, Occupy Honolulu has uh, pointed out that uh, the rains and whatnot have um, brought these branches down. But instead of the parks and uh, facilities maintenance people maintaining this, they have instead ignored it. I'm going to take some pictures there. Okay, I'm going to go back up there. Right behind that is uh, the Deoccupy encampment. We'll go up there and see what's up. If you're just joining us, uh, the uh, Honolulu Police Department and the Honolulu City and County Department of Facilities Maintenance uh, have conducted a raid and seized on tag property, but not tents. This is what happens when you try to interfere with um, systematic injustice. By the state and city and county of Honolulu. I got a case filed against me um, this morning when I oh. uh, when I went to court. Obstructing uh, government operations case section seven ten dash ten ten one a H R S Hawaii Revo revised statute. So I'm gonna we're all gonna be looking that up. state of Hawaii versus state of Hawaii versus Madori, and that's yeah. Madori. Yeah. <laughs> And this is from, I guess, May 3rd, yeah. yeah. So I just wanted to show that to everyone, this is what happens when you try to call bullshit <laughs> right. on um, ordinances that... But we'll see, we'll, you're, and you're going to take it to trial, no? Yeah. You're going to take it to trial and we get, and hard for this one. we get to put the, the system on trial. Yeah. We get to put them on trial because this is... I was there when they did it. This was like totally bogus crap, yeah. you know. So I just wanted to show that to you. Thank you. I'm going to I'm also going to take a still picture of it later so I can look have a record for it. And with that, we will be leaving you and say goodbye and we'll Bye. talk to you.